Well, how the heck y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good one. CP and I spent pretty much the whole freaking day screwing around in the city. Got some groceries, birthday presents, picked up some salt for the cows. Got a new barbecue, which I need to now assemble. And it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock. And I just got it up here on the deck. But it's here, four burner, cousin art. It's a cousin art, guys. Hopefully this one's gonna be a hell of a lot better than that friggin' charbroil. I'll show you one of the problems with a charbroil. <clears throat> Biggest problem with charbroil is right there. See that? There's a friggin' three and a half inch gap right here. All your heat comes right out the back end. Well, that's a son of a bitch. Now that cousin art, the gap is about an inch. It's about the thickness of my friggin' finger. How's that sound? There is still a gap, but it's not as bad. We've had a cousin art before. Cousin art, or something like that they're called. And it lasted quite a while. So, I'm gonna chop. And I have to assemble it, of course. That thing comes pre-assembled. And I think it was done wrong. How's that sound? My own personal opinion. But we didn't want to spend seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a friggin' barbecue. So we spent three hundred and seventy dollars on a barbecue, and that's what it's supposed to look like when we're done. Let's get together and get pitter patter and rip this sucker open and I'll bring you guys back later. Hokely dokely, so got me tools. Box of shit, box of shit, box of shit. Big ass piece of shit. Grates. Whole bunch of friggin' paperwork. So, do you take this, all this stuff, all this paperwork, and toss it, guys? Do I just toss it into the garbage box? Or do we actually pay attention to what the hell the paperwork has to say somewhat not the french stuff either for damage or missing parts oh nice please contact us <laughs> that's what it says right there please contact right there okay well maybe we'll hang on to that one because chances are we're gonna have missing parts right <sighs> we'll just stick him down here for now that way he doesn't get lost. We'll close that. The one thing I did notice with this thing, the lid is double lined. See that? There's two liners in it. So the lid top doesn't get overly hot. Well, that's nice. When CP comes out here, she's gonna give me shit. I'm waiting for her to come out, guys. Why is she gonna give me shit? Because she said I wasn't allowed to... Uh, bring this thing onto the deck without help from her yeah okay i got it up here already anyways bring you back in a bit fire this puppy up some big old ribeyes just like so We'll get him cracking. And get him up to 250, 300, and then slow him down a little bit. Yeah. So tonight is smoked ribeyes, stuffed baked potato, salad. I don't know what else is going to happen. Maybe some corn on the cabbages. Natural gas conversion. Don't need that. Give me the English, that's French. Owner's manual, operating instruction. Don't need that. That's French, don't need that. There we go, assembly. I'm gonna read through this for a minute or two and uh, we'll bring you guys back in a bit. What? 
What? Say it. Come on, say it. <laughs> she knew I had the camera going, guys. That's why she's not freaking out on me right oh, now. I knew you did it. <laughs> you nip? Oh, it's up here. Now you got to get over here and assemble the son of a bitch. Do you want me to show you how it's done? <laughs> show you how to screw it up? Sure. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. What's wrong, babe? <laughs> so, what do we got here? Big ass rib ass steaks, stuffed baked taters, cheese toast, Caesar salad. Oh my god, we went all out today. Thanks, babe. But I did cook the steaks. I actually been cooking almost what almost every night, even last night at Mon Paws. Yeah, you did. Good job. Can't complain. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to eat. I never eat all day. Okay. We're gonna have some chow, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Oh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, the old Dodge is running. Just started them, but. I was going to show you guys this thing now that we got it all put together and it's daylight out so we got it done in the dark last night but somewhat dark anyways but that's what she looks like there's no front door nothing on it you just slip the tank in on the side blah 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 you guys all saw it running so yeah this is uh, what the hell is it Tuesday the 8th or 9th of June something like that and so, but she's all ready to rock and roll. Right up. And so, exact amendo. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe we'll even use it today. Give her a try. But until that point, I'll get that cover, which is actually for that friggin' thing. And we're going to throw it on here and uh, we'll cinch this thing to the railing it's usually what we do in case we get a storm that comes through so and i'm gonna throw i gotta unload the generator and shit out of that truck then we gotta grab some salt and put it in that truck run it out to the cows on the rented land and then we gotta go get parts for that truck they're in so we'll talk to you guys later great mocha we'll talk to them later all righty guys well we're out here at our rented land and the cows do have access to other pasturing areas but they have to come through this little stubble piece to get to the dugout still right and so I just brought them uh, salt today I don't have a mineral tub with me which is fine really um, I'm just gonna toss it on the ground out here See if I can get back in there a little bit without taking a friggin' post out. It's a little narrow. It's a little narrow, but not bad. Calves so far are looking good. I think I'm up against the fucking tree. Let's check it out. They got the goosey juicy. 
the water ain't looking that fantastic it's getting a little green but we'll get uh, these two blocks off and bring you guys back everybody's looking good at this point I'll get out of here move you little shits once we get out then I can step out and take a closer look at them hey girls what do you figure oh yeah got something happening there huh yeah a couple more days and we'll be bringing mr. bully wooly over for you is yep cow porn oh this big guy Yep, they're showing signs of heat. That's for sure. Red ones, black ones, everybody. So that's a good good sign. Where is that little sucker that was Oh, there's Spot. Bullseye. Everybody's riding everybody. Freaking nuts. Freaking nuts, guys. Where's the new calf? There. Nope, that ain't him. I think it's this one right here. Nope, that ain't him. Where the heck is he? Might have to go for a drive around and find the newest one. Probably laying down over there in the trees out there. Nope, there he is. Right there. Right with mom, right where he should be. Ah, he's looking alright. Hey, old girl. That's good. They're doing good. They're finding the salt over there. Alrighty. Well, let's get the heck out of here. We're supposed to be getting stormy weather here this afternoon, tonight, with even a slight possibility of a friggin' tornado, guys. So, uh, we're gonna get to Indian Head and pick our parts up and get our buns back home before some stormy weather hits. We'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, well we went to went and did all our stuff in Indian Head and we were on our way home and we got ourselves a phone call. So Tristan decided he was going to fire up his old Dodge. And I know I'm going to get rubbed hard on this one guys. I know it. I know it for in a heartbeat. I know it. But he was figured he'd use his old Dodge to go back and forth to work, and this thing has had a shitload of work done to it. Like, high performance this and that, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know everything that's been done, but lots has been done. And he's been contemplating pulling the engine and rebuilding it, so to speak. But we think he spun a, spun a ring in there. He didn't get very far. And if you look through that back window, you can see that big blue Dodge right behind me. I'm towing his ass home. He got about five miles from home, so instead of loading it on a trailer, we just uh, I just came out here, grabbed a tow strap from home, and, and uh, came out here, and we're towing him home. Yeah, it don't sound very good. It don't sound good at all. But anyways, we'll let you guys go. You gotta get this puppy towed home because he has to work tonight. He's on night shift, so we'll talk to y'all later. She 
definitely does not sound very good. I think he spun a ring on your friggin' uh, crank. Yeah. Minor. Minor <laughs> details. Thank God it's not your main transportation. That's right. Mm, so, yeah, she don't sound very good. Well, I'll let you go put her away. I gotta put mine in the shop too. <laughs> yeah, so with my truck, oh, that don't sound good. My truck, guys, that box of stuff down there, and a couple more pieces of shit in the box of the truck. So what? Did, what am I doing? Well. Remember the other day I said I had a caliper that locked up on me? I just said, screw it. I went and I ordered two brand new calipers, one for each side, new rotors, new brakes, new pins, and that's what we're gonna be doing. We'll work at getting all these new parts installed. I've never ever attempted anything like this on my own, so this will be a first, but I know enough I know enough mechanics that uh, if I have trouble, I'm sure I can call on a couple of them boys to give me a hand if need be. How's that sound? So, anyway, I'll let you guys go. We got to get our truck in here and uh, go from there. Talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. So, got Tristan's truck parked way back over there. He's gone now. But I told him what I was doing, and he said, well, don't use any of those parts. So what I got here, and I showed you earlier, in each box is new caliper. Right there is that other box, or new pads. These are all new mounting pins for the calipers. And then in the back is new rotors. Right there here and here uh anyway he made a phone call to some place in regina that he's a member of and not 100 percent sure what they're called north auto or some goddamn thing like that and uh for what i paid for all my parts he's getting the same parts for half the price of course I got my parts right from Dodge, and I don't know where they're getting their parts from, but it's half price to what I paid. So all of these parts, I phoned Dodge, and I, <clears throat> they're going back. And hopefully tomorrow, our parts will be in. Time will tell, right? But in the meantime and in between time, I'm going to jack this sucker up, get Jack's jack stands under it to hold it and i'm gonna start ripping things apart so anyway i'm sure i got more than enough on this one so i'm gonna let you guys all go give us the old thumbs up comment subscribe fun 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 let's get her done we'll catch you all later